Hey YouTube, Safety here. We're going to show you how to make a new yellow, jack, yellow jacket trap out of an old one and a simple jack-in-the-box cut. I'm here with Edna Marie Peterson today. It's my grandma and we're going to go ahead and go through the steps and what you need and how simple it is to reuse the plastic materials from the old yellow jacket trap. Alright, we're going to demonstrate how to recycle an old yellow jacket trap into a new yellow jacket trap using a recycled drink cup from a fast food place. So you take your old trap that, that says disposable, but you don't dispose it. You cut the plastic bag away. which is easy. And then you have this piece. And this is garbage. And it has the old dead yellow jacket that you cut the first time around. And that goes in the trash. And then you Take the bubble top. To make it, you have to have a bubble top drink container to make the nice big hole that's the perfect size for to have that top, the bubble top, making it a dome again. And then the yellow jackets are going to go down in there just like they did in that one we threw away, so we put this back on. But before we put it on, this is a non-poisonous, non-toxic mode of action, it says. Did you get it? Non-toxic, excellent. So we're not going to poison ourselves. And when you, we put water in the cup, and we for water here and I usually fill it up to about that far up. You don't want to fill it too full because you don't want that yellow tip to touch the water. I don't know if that's real important or not but anyway that's that's good. Okay now there's a little tip you cut off And you don't want to get this on your fingers because it's a yellow jacket attractant and you don't want to be attracting yellow jackets. So you strip it into the water. And just because I don't like to waste anything at all, I just throw the container in there too. So, the tube, the attractant tube. And, oh, it sure stinks. But now, you very carefully put the lid back on the cup. Make sure this step's important. Make sure it's on securely because when you lift it up, you don't want to spill it. So, all the way around. And now you're ready to hang it. And Look at that, it already has its string on it because I had this string from before. Excellent. And so, this is going to see how the level it is. Okay. And now, we'll hang it up and I'll show you the one we made about five days ago. It's already getting quite full of yellow jackets. It was a few days ago about five days ago and you can see it's got a lot of yellow jackets in it. Oh, it's not even clear, it's totally full. Thank and it, immediately after I hung it, the yellow jackets started arriving and the reason I uh, put it here was because inside this building I extract honey and I didn't want 
the yellow jackets to go for my honey. I wanted them to go for the attractant instead. Now I can hang this any place away from where we're eating. We don't want to hang it close to where we're eating because we don't want the yellow jackets to come visit us while we're eating. So our picnic area is over there with branch. Sturdy enough branch. So we'll hang it right there. And the little visitors can come and fill it up. And our picnic area is over there, so far enough away for them. <laughs> 